central banks are making major moves in blockchain, a $24 million Ripple donation, and EOS sets a record for the most number of transactions done in a single day. Let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure you hit the subscribe and also notifications button so you don't miss an episode when it comes out. I'm Edward. We're going to be bringing you the news from the world of cryptocurrency now three times a week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and also Thursdays. Now, if you're in Los Angeles, each episode will go live at 2 p.m. for you. If you're in New York, it'll be a 5 p.m. start time. And if you're across the pond over in London, it'll be a 10 p.m. start time for each episode. Enjoy today's show. Augustin Carstens, a Mexican economist who serves as the general manager of the Bank of International Settlements, has been pretty harsh critic of cryptocurrency. But now it appears that the Bank for International Settlements may be designing their own central bank digital currency. Both Carstens and IMF head Christine Largue have been beating the drum for a new kind of currency in recent months. The nature of modern money lends itself to digitalization, and it looks like the global central banks may be on the cusp of launching a new kind of digital money. If this is successful and there is some sort of centralized digital currency, what happens next? Do other cryptos get banned? And if that happens, what's the punishment for using these forms of exchange? Only time will tell. Gazprom, a leading Russian oil and gas company run by the Russian government, has announced the completion of a blockchain pilot that would enable the firm to use emerging technology for recording gas contract details. Per sources close to the matter, the state-owned gas firm has collaborated with Gazprom Bank to develop a distributed ledger technology prototype that would automatically execute gas agreements with smart contracts. The system leverages the immutability of distributed ledger technology to guard against unauthorized interference and alterations to contract documents. In recent weeks, the Business School of San Francisco State University announced that it's received one of the largest cryptocurrency donations ever made to a U.S. university from Ripple co-founder Chris Larson, his wife, and RippleWorks. As indicated by the announcement, the university president, Leslie E. Wong, told the 400 civic community and university leaders being part of the event at San Francisco State University's College of Business that they'd gotten a $24 million gift from Chris Larson, his wife, and also RippleWorks. Now, RippleWorks is a non-for-profit Foundation launched in 2015 by Larson and Doug Gallen, supporting high growth social ventures across the world. Will this be the new way that people make large donations to universities? Binance, which is one of the top cryptocurrency exchanges the world over, is not slated to make their foray into the South Korean market, as was rumored. The company made it very clear that they will have nothing to do with countries who have not yet decided on the legislative regulation of the digital asset market. Now, Champing Zhao, the CEO of Binance, announced this at a conference in Seoul, South Korea. Zhao emphasized that they are ready to cooperate with jurisdictions that have established strict regulatory requirements for the cryptographic market. If the authority of the countries are interested in distributing blockchain technology. According to Zhao, Binance prefers countries with well-defined regulation and does not want to get into a situation where all the activities of the regulators is just reduced to talking. How will this point of view in turn affect the policy towards crypto growth going forward? EOS, the sixth largest cryptocurrency on coin market cap, has reported significant growth over the past few days, proving to be a strong competitor for Binance Coin, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. Apart from the performance in the market, EOS has also set up a new record for the most cryptocurrency actions processed in a single day. EOS recently set a record over 70 million transactions processed in a single 24-hour period, the average of over 810 transactions per second. The team at EOS making great strides in further optimization and scaling. With the resurgence of the crypto market coming back, which cryptocurrency will be the next big thing and why? Will speed be one of the main factors in propelling EOS or some other cryptocurrency into the stratosphere? Many thanks for tuning in to today's episode. If you have any thoughts or questions on this particular video or cryptocurrency more generally, just drop us a line in the comments below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy.